Welcome back to Yes Your Grace, where you are able to watch the downfall of the kingdom in real time. We're not paying for the hunter, but we are buying hot oil. We're a little bit broke, but I don't want to take out loans because it doesn't feel worth it. Like, maybe, but I can't get a loan right before. Maybe, like, I can invite the guy immediately before the battle if, like, I desperately need defenses. And I can, like, take out a loan for, like, a list or something. Your Grace, I have tried talking to the butcher. He didn't really want to listen to me. He insisted he wanted to come and see you. You should expect him soon. Okay. Thanks, I guess. I forgot that I sent you to deal with one random person in the town. I forgot how much was going on. Is there a butcher somewhere here? Okay. Which I've healed the wounded hunter, Your Grace. The poor folk shouldn't be trying to hunt alone. Is that true? Should you not hunt alone? I feel like the more people you have, the more like likely you are to scare off the animal whereas if it's like you alone but I guess there's like the safety concerns your grace I'm afraid our troubles continue wackle, wackle, the rabbit rogues of oh it's you the lettuce shithead the none to sell and none to wackle, eat our children are hungry please help you hello who are you just go away wackle, otherwise the rabbits will always take our food you have to, you can't be a farmer and not know how to deal with pests and go, oh, I want the army to come help me deal with pests. Like, that's part of being a farmer, is knowing how to deal with pests and knowing, like, when to plant stuff and crop rotation and keeping your ground fertile. That's your problem. I don't have a hunter because I didn't pay for him because he's expensive. I don't have supplies and I don't have gold. Fuck off. I literally don't have the option to help But I can't, otherwise I would have done something by now. Yeah, well then, maybe don't farm cabbage if you can't deal with the pests that cabbage brings. Hello, you're really cool looking. Hey there, you heard me talking- you're also dressed much better than everyone else. You heard me talking about loans and then showed up. Go away. Hello. Selling packs of supplies. Did you just see me not want to talk to- I always wondered if I say buy Oracle Dust if I can then arrest them, but- Go away. I don't want supplies. Go away. Hello. My lord, shelter we seek. Who's we? Our village is entirely destroyed. We have no place to go, no place to call home. Can you help us? Ah, you're Redovian because you said my lord and not your grace. You're Redovian. What village? Uh, uh, Brinsk, my lord? I've never heard of such a village. How I must be awfully far away. Behind the mountains far? Yes, my lord. Rodovians. Ah. My lord. My grace. Uh, your grace? We realize who we are to you. We realize our brothers fought with you. You literally declared war. And now expect asylum from the people you declared war on. That's like... No. Go away. But we had you came here to kill me and then lost the war and now want me to help you go away many have died and many need to die no more I urge you we have no weapons nor bad intentions you had bad intentions when you came here and declared war why your people killed our brothers what I've just returned from battle with your king. I marched to meet him with an army, and he returned with and returned with but a few men. We're at war. Why would we help you? Then did all he could to help. Uh, that's not my problem. We're not who you think we are. We came here to seek peace. Uh, so then, why did you show up with fire-wielding magicians and war beasts and shit like that? Why did you like face my armies? Like, no, go away. Fuck off. I've heard enough. Lies or not, I cannot help you. There's just a couple dozen of us, women and children. Why would you come with an army? Why wouldn't you stay there? This sounds like bullshit. Like you wouldn't march with an army to the new land, like the army and the army, like the people with the army would go. You wouldn't bring children 
to war. This sounds like bullshit. We have nowhere else to go. And like, this is a like if we had lost, then that's they would have gone. Ah, great, we'll take all the like empty villages and the castle that's now empty because there's no one to oppose us. We'll come and we'll settle down here. So their whole plan was to come here and take our stuff, and then they lost. And now they still want us to help them. Oh, Just keep in mind that King Yerkek will only aid us with his army if we refuse. Oh, yeah, we're not helping them. Uh, five supplies a week? Fuck off. Stan, get him out of here. Oh, but we have no more room. Nope, get out. Oh, get out. Go, go. I, I, don't oh, I don't care. 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 Go away. Get. Hello, you look real cool. What's up? Oh, Baba. Your Grace, I have a vicious stomach ache. Uh, go to the doctor, not the king. Demon. For five days, there's been no sign of the stool again. I'm not a doctor. Yeah. My elder mother had. My elder mother. Elder mother? Is that a common phrase? It's interesting. Prune juice, a special mixture. Oh, yeah. It didn't work. Actually, it's worse than saying. What are the chances your old mother poisoned you? Be it intentionally to try and get rid of you, or unintentionally because, like, it was common at the time for, like, remedies and medicines and stuff to contain poison because we didn't necessarily really understand what was going on. And, like, a lot of diuretics especially were poison, and the reason you were having diarrhea is because your body was trying to get rid of the poison you were eating. Like, lead and stuff was used in diuretics. If I knew any better, I'd think she wants to put an end to me. Hey, welcome! I think constipation is the term the medics would use. Help a poor fella out. Literally, yeah, go find a healer. Don't bother me with such petty matters. Visit a healer and I'm sure they'll help. They cost money or grace. All I have is two chickens. The house is my mother's. I have to wait until she passes away to get her things. So you want her to die. She wants you to die. This seems like internal squabbles. I don't have seven gold. That's right, I could speed up. I, I may not want it though. <laughs> You're literally just admitting murder to your king. I could just have you arrested. I should just have you arrested. Alright. Who did we help? Uh, yep, call in Stefan. Send the general. Oh, you're this guy. Interesting. Side business. Attacked village. Wounded husband. Monster in the well. Lost beloved son. I helped you. I helped you instead of helping a lord and I was really pissed off about it. I'm sending my witch. I expect your help. Good stuff. Uh, let's go see who wants to talk. Have a nice day, Audrey. I don't know what you do in your spare time, but, you know, leave. Cool, yeah. I don't care, leave. Hi there, how's the baby going? Does it feel like a boy? That's okay, going, darling. Uh, I told the Rodovians to fuck off. During the King's Summit, King Fabian asked me to help people from Dovia. He was clear he will join our forces if we do. On the other hand, King Yedrick said he... He would help if I exterminate all of them. That's great, honey. That means we'll get help either way. Yes, I suppose. Some Rodovians have visited our walls this week. They have the nerve to ask for golden supplies. After all their king has done for us, I've decided not to help them. You were right to do that, sweetheart. I wonder if there is, like, actually... Like, if I help them, would she also go, Oh, you were right to do that. There are people, blah, blah, blah. Or if she'll always agree with you. Whether, like, she actually has, like, a fixed position on how she feels about the Redovians, or whether she'll always side with whatever choice you made. What do we got? Debt is what we got. Hmm... I always want to have Stan. That seems important, is to always have Stan. But I could not spend any money and try and save up, because all this is going to be expensive. Let's put some supplies in. 
Okay, how many crates do I need minimum? I think five. Okay. We have 16 weeks. We have a bit of time. Let's save up some money this week. I don't want to be left with zero money. That seems like always going to be a bad idea. Maybe a loan might not have been a horrible idea. Yes. Oh, hmm. Rosulia hasn't written in a while. Um, hello. Rosulia hasn't written in a while. I hope everything's fine with her. General! Interesting group of people. General! Um, I told the villagers you wanted to see them. They'll be here shortly. Hello. I told the villagers you wanted to see them. They'll be here shortly. Peasant! You're great. Your general tells me I'll be thrown out of the village if I don't clean up my mess. Yes, you have a rat on your shoulder. I don't like rats. How about all the other people? They throw their crap on the streets and it bothers no one. I used to be nice and take my waste into the woods. But people would throw their filth right in front of my house. Now my cartwheels are broken and I can't carry all this in my hands. So it goes where everybody's waste goes. I won't clean it up until everybody else cleans up their mess too. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. You know, I also can't afford to repair your cart, so clean it up or go to jail. Da. I will not repeat oh. myself. I don't care how you do Kua. it. Holy shit, our contentment is low. I mean, he's polite enough about it, but he's got a pet rat, and I don't trust anybody with a pet rat. I see you're here. Might be time to take a loan. Might be. Hello. Oh, Grace, will you join my army? Again, we're going to war again. We need as many men as possible. I owe you my life, my Grace. Of course I will help. Be ready, the battle starts in 15 weeks. Is he... Six men. Hey there. My oh, Grace, how can I help? Will you join my army? That boy. Yes, I heard about the war. You have found my poor boy. You can count on me to help. I will gather my friends too. Thank you. We're not. We're gonna have like fucking a hundred men against three thousand. What do you want? I hear it's a tough time for gathering, Grace. One battle fought by another. It mustn't be easy to be a king in such times. Honestly, I think about running away daily. I think I know what could help you in the coming struggle. Soldiers. More and more soldiers. The more soldiers you have, the better, wouldn't you agree? Uh, yes, and also no, because like, if you have soldiers that don't answer to you, but answer to someone else as the main bulk of your, so your force, and then something happens and suddenly they're not loyal to you anymore because, like, you're not in charge. You're just paying the guy in charge. It could be a problem. It just happens that I have access to highly trained, efficient men that are willing to fight for your country. For a fair price. 28 gold for 22 men. Well, I don't have that much money. Okay. Bye. Is he gonna join the enemy? Mm, how? What is the interest again? We have a quick and easy solution to give you a surge of gold of supplies. Fifty gold. Ten gold. A week. Uh, supplies aren't great either. I think I'm gonna borrow gold. Perfect. Thank you. That's it. That's all. Okay. Who else? The Cult of Trees definitely won't help us. Stomachache won't help us. Attacked Village might. Side business. I can't remember if I helped him. Wounded Husband, I'm pretty sure I helped. Babushka, we definitely helped. Monster in the well, we didn't help. Come on. I'll send my journal. Oh, there's more villages up here that I did not see. What did we do? Fever in the village. I can't remember if we helped. I can't remember if we helped. Crop problem, we helped. 
village on fire. I don't remember a village being on fire. Love problems. Poverty. I'm starting to realize I did not really help that many people. Hmm. A thousand men. It's a real promising offer. My plan of if I marry my daughter to him and I get a thousand men from the king that opposes Rodovia. That only works if I can actually raise a thousand men myself as well, because then I have an army to meet them. But if I can't, it doesn't matter if they ally with me, if I can't raise an army, we're still gonna die.